So guys, welcome back, episode four. We're back. Welcome we've already back, uh, we've already named the episode because we've been waiting for a few hours to start recording. <laughs> so episode four is officially called "Where the Fuck Is Frank?" <laughs> Where have you been, Frank? <laughs> Frank. Frank. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it's been what another two weeks, I think, yeah. and, and another eventful two weeks in, in yeah. life of the football club. So lots to ca- lots to catch up on. Yeah. Can we have yeah. this? Um, Podcast sponsored by Guinness, though, I think that'd be a yeah, good idea. Yeah, if anyone from Guinness is watching, yes, yes, we're quite well, happy to sponsor brand, your product. Brand well, this awareness. is what I'm thinking. So one of the, and we'll jump back to it later, but one of the questions we asked is how many Guinnesses do we get through on a podcast? So, oh, oh, can we just be clear that uh, other stouts are available? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think we can we can probably tally it up while we're podcasting and see how many cans are left at the end. Sounds good. So if you really want to know, you best listen to the full episode and watch the video. Correct. <laughs> I'm not drinking today. Yeah, yeah, I said that last night. Mm. Is that why the water's there? I'm very hungover today. <laughs> <coughs> so, two weeks have passed, three games. Already? Yeah, so I and think... And a broad trip. Yeah. It's lots to catch up on. It's been bedlam. Yeah, it's been bedlam. Um, Bamba, should we kick off with the Bamba game? Yeah, yeah. it's never dull, is it? Um, I thought it was an absolutely top draw performance from the lads. Um, thoroughly deserved a win. Don't think they really troubled us at any point. We no. were in control. No. Um, Sam made some great selections, didn't he? And um, got his game plan spot on. Yeah, doing well, the guy. Yeah. yeah, he really is. I must say, I think that's probably one of the best performances of the season. Yeah, it was good. It was solid. We just we were just in control. Yeah, right away. Which was great. Um, good turnout as well in the in the lounge. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. day. Good on the gate. Was that good... the Stanley Britwork day? Yeah, the Stanley oh, Britwork. Yeah. yeah. Fun that, wasn't they? Yeah. So uh, yeah, they thanks. like a drink, don't they? They do. They do. <laughs> so thanks, thanks for that, lads. Um, put a few quid behind the bar, as always. Much appreciated. Um, but no, I think it was. Um, I think it was an outstanding performance and set us up really well going into what was going to be a tough. Bank holiday weekend, massive weekend in it. Bank holidays. It's uh, yeah. it's not a make or break time, but it's it, it has a massive effect on it on the league. And um, obviously six points up for grabs that weekend. So tough, yeah, isn't it? You know, the, for the players as well. The turnaround play. in between yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then that's where I think Sam doing the signings before the bank holiday. Yeah, was like masterstroke really because we needed the leg, didn't we? To yeah. So obviously he's brought in three. Yeah. 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 Shent, um, Sam Burns. Burns. And Jay, 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 yeah. Jay Nichols, yeah. yeah. So, um, and I think, did all three feature? Jay under? wasn't there at the. Uh, oh no, he wasn't. He had a pre booked wedding. Game, game, yeah. But yeah both, Sam and Ollie at Morpeth, weren't they? Yeah, and both got on the score sheet. Well. Yeah, that was good. Which yeah. was really, really good to see. It's always good to see that impact kind of from straight away. I, I think as well, although we did try and change the fixture to the, the Friday, which we unfortunately couldn't do, yeah. the fact that we. Had a busy bank holiday weekend, but one of them was Morpeth, which was the furthest away day that we yeah. ever have. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know, three and a half hours there. Obviously, they got stuck in traffic with a crash. It's a bit longer than three and a half hours, wasn't it? <laughs> Some of us, yeah. Well, <laughs> we, 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 we were living it up in Switzerland, which we'll come on yeah, to in a bit. But yeah. I believe you would get a bit of grief tow from their uh, from, from their boys, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, they wanted to. Uh, Play the game, I think. So um, basically, we should have all stayed in the year. It was <laughs> stayed in the year, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah um, just a bit of news on the congratulations. Yeah, Tony, totally. congrats. Yay. Well done, mate. Well done. All commiserations. Commiserations to Sarah. Oh, yeah, sorry, Sarah. Yeah, sorry about that, you know Sarah. What? We leave alone for one weekend. I know, I know. Look, look what he gets himself into. <laughs> gets, him, gets engaged. I did look. It was a receipt there. Let's put it in there. Can we edit that bit out? Frank? Sarah doesn't yeah. listen to podcasts. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, the, the obviously we had to put the kick off back, and I don't think yeah. they were too happy with it, really. No, the no. bus wasn't going to get there till quarter past two, and the lads had been on the coach for five we hours. We didn't even stop either. It we was had a long, an accident. Long day. Yeah, so that, you know, there was it was. Really, really tough to ask them to go out straight off, off the bus, straight onto the pit. So, you know, we were pushing with their manager, and the referee was fine. And we said, Look, we don't want to kick off till half past three, give the lads time, get out, stretch, set the legs, have a proper warm up. And their manager's been a um, careful, a, um, careful, disagreeing with you, <laughs> disagreeing with me. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, we kicked off at half past Mate, three. I, so, I yeah. think that's all. <laughs> you have a bit of respect, don't you? Like, it's not that it's not our fault we got stuck in traffic. We've had teams that have turned up late here. They knew as well, it's not as if it yeah, was like a shock. Yeah, that's there, like, how I made sure I got there. One them as well, like we couldn't have left any earlier. No, <laughs> well, you clearly could have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Friday. Listen, yeah. listen you got to Switzerland quicker than we got to bloody Morpeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It was actually a dream fast. trip. Flew through the airport, security, yeah, the transport. All right. Perfect, <laughs> and we were all kids up on a bus. So we were having breakfast beers in the yeah. airport. Oh. 
Oh, you were in Morpeth making making friends, weren't we? So <laughs> 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 it was all right. Well, they yeah. got, got a crack result, though. Yeah. 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 Do you know what? Concept. I think that bit of drama spurred him on, give him a bit of extra yeah, yeah. fight to go right. Okay, well, let's let's come out. But again, it was a performance where we didn't look under no. pressure. No. Obviously, they scored a fantastic goal to equalise. Oh yeah, it was a great but, goal, that, yeah. But yeah. you know the. At no point were you worrying yeah. watching it from the touchline, were you? We were um, we were in a, an Irish bar, I think, weren't we? In, uh, in Switzerland. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though because we had we, we found this Irish bar because uh, we'd been to a game on the Friday night and we went out Saturday morning, had a mooch around, found this Irish bar, they had all the Premier League games on, about four or five different screens. So there was loads of different fans in there watching the game. And we were crowded round that at Mark's phone, and we're all sharing air pods and everything like, listening to Frank's wonderful commentary. Hear infections galore. But, but like the games were playing it, and then there'd be eight of us going, "Yeah, get in!" And they'd be like looking round, like there was someone taking a throw in. They're like, "Why are they so excited?" Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was good. Good. Then. So it was good. Really good. No, but yeah, um, a fantastic result. Though. Yeah, and obviously on that note. A little trip to Switzerland. For yeah. The um, yeah. Do you, do you want to do this bit? Yeah, we was. Uh, I just ship him. We like. Of course you can. <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh, it was a surprise for our Ethan's sixteenth birthday, and we had um, a couple of the parents come along from the under sixteen. So Marie and Shane and Kean came along as well, and uh, Mark and Rach obviously came along. So we basically it was a mystery away day. So you you pay your money, you get your accommodation, your flights, and tickets to a game anywhere in Europe. We didn't know until the week before, but we drew. Uh, we got to go to Switzerland to watch a team called Neuchatel Zamax, who play in the Swiss second division. Um, we knew nothing about, yeah. quite, quite frankly, until we started doing a bit of research and whatever. Anyway, we got we wrote to the club to say that we were coming, and um, they arranged for us to have a private tour of the stadium. We met the director of football, we met some of the players, we met the manager. Looked well, exactly, after, didn't they? Oh, they really class. did. They really did. What a stadium that is! <sighs> Unbelievable. Seriously, for the, like League Two. But yeah. they've, they've been up there, haven't they, a couple of times? Like Champions they've been League. Champions League. Like, yeah. So is that the second tier in Swiss football? Yeah, yeah. 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 But the Challenge that, League, we call it. Yeah, but. The, the actual stadium is crazy because when you're walking up to it, you go, wait, this must hold about 100,000. It looks <laughs> massive, doesn't it, when you're on the yeah, street? Yeah, it's it. look huge. And it's built on top of um, a, like a like a golden square sort of thing underneath it and a fire station and yeah. like a proper shopping centre underneath. And the actual pitch is on the roof of the shopping centre and then the stadium's <laughs> built around it. Yeah. But like, what a concept. It, it, it is unbelievable. And the stadium itself is tidy. I think it's 13,000. 13,000, yeah, all, uh, well, not all seated because they have the ultra sections where they oh, stand. That's funny. But um, it, it, the stadium quite itself, and we got to go in all the boxes and they give us a really good tour around. 200 yeah. million quid they spent on it. Wow. That's including the shopping centre underneath. Yeah. But really close, right next to a lake. I mean, Stunning place, isn't it? I, I love Gorsi Lane, but the views from there <laughs> were a little bit different. A little different than yeah. There's a few lakes on here this week with all that well, money. Yeah, there was, there was. <laughs> but yeah. um, we, we, we had the tour, they gave us a shirt, we wanted to ride and on to commemorate it. They, yeah, they uh, were lovely, they were really, really We looked after us, loads of pictures for the social media. We got invited on the podcast, but we, by by the time we left the game, I think we were a little bit worse for wear and we ended we up losing drunk. the guy and whatever we else. But one thing that was brilliant were their fans. Yeah, um, absolutely amazing. Unreal. Proper ultras who have their own sections, home and away. They, take the, they took the seating out in the middle of each stand <laughs> so that they could have the ultras so they can stand. The banners, the flags, the flares, and they did not stop yeah, the oh, entire man. game. <laughs> the guys but, with the megaphones, and it just yeah. da, 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 and they just keep going. Great keep going. Man, and yeah. you know what? The one thing that we, we talked about was I didn't see one phone out in the whole stadium. Like, I didn't see, you know, when you go to our game, I'm tourist everyone's now, got a phone yeah. out and yeah. like, they didn't see anything. No well, phone. All the tourists at Gorsi Lane, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, was, everyone was just enjoying the game into and they the were game. into the singing yeah. and it, uh, it was a great game. So it's as like well. proper fans, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that a reflection of like lower league football though? Because obviously, like Premier League football, like, that's all it is, it's tourism. But is the, it? the guy that took us around, this Noah guy, really nice lad, uh, did a good tour and everything, and he said, like, I don't follow English football because. There's no passion in the support or anything, and it, you know what? We probably are quite sterilised, aren't we? Yeah, like yeah. Well, you can't. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to yeah. do that. Everyone's got to sit down. All that kind of stuff, which yeah. you know, safety reasons. I get all that, but in terms of the, like the the flags and the banners and the the, yeah. the pyros and all that, like, but it was done in a contained, safe way. Yeah. You know, we were right next to them. They were really great with us. There was no issues. There's no like. 
it wasn't aggressive, was it? No. It was yeah, more... You know what? I didn't see, it. didn't see a policeman. Yeah, there was no police in there. You said there was Not just one. a final. Nothing at all. <laughs> when when, when, when we first went in, there was there was some guys who gave you a little pat down and all that kind of stuff. I don't know whether they were police or their security. Sure, they worked for the club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it was just it was just a brilliant experience, and, yeah. and a, a massive thanks from from us to to all the guys at Zamax because they really that really looked after us. And, it was yeah, good. We hopefully we'll see you over in Warrington yeah, for yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah, right, that that no, brilliant. And you made it back in time for Bank Holiday Monday, mm. and yeah. you just weren't too worse for wear either. Um, to be honest, I had, it didn't hit me because I was carrying on drinking at the Bank Holiday game. <laughs> yeah. I had to get through it. <laughs> And then sort of Tuesday it made I was a bit of a Yeah, well, it's so, Sunday I wasn't too bad surprisingly enough. Yeah. But um, yeah, Monday I think we were we were just really excited to get back. We'd obviously yeah. missed the Saturday game, so we're looking forward to seeing you guys because we missed you. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> and, uh, it's not what the postcards <laughs> said, was it? <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, obviously we knew we'd have a decent turnout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. massive it was game. It was great. What a day! Yeah. Oh, well, it was, it was hard, one of the highlights of the season, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. well, you know, I, I think we've got that link with Marine because we've been around yeah. quite a long time time aren't we and they're lovely people um, I say that pretty much about every club we play against <laughs> but like they're really the genuine football people so I, I like Not playing every club. yeah <laughs> good job at the club. <laughs> but um, yeah and you know what you, you have the banter and they've got, got good following they've got good home support yeah. they're a proper club aren't they yeah. um, I, like, yeah. I like playing them sort of games and you know what so going into it I saw Fraser on the pitch before I had a chat with him and we knew it was going to be a, like a tight game because both teams were in good form um, and he said to me, he said, I'll take a draw now. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I think we same. would have that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But we yeah. said, didn't we, if we come out of the weekend with four points, we'd have been great. Put yeah. a snatch your hand off. Yeah. I said, I was funny, actually, I said to Clive um, after the game, I was saying, you know, we'd have been made up four points. He went, what are you on about? Four points. We've won it all six. <laughs> you know what, though, on the, on the cold right. draw, they were saying six, six points is a yeah. six point right. weekend. And, yeah. uh, I was humouring them, like, oh yeah, great, but that's great to them. <laughs> well, it was, a good, it was a good crowd, a good turnout, yeah. Yeah. Uh, great atmosphere in the lounge, again, fantastic from all the sponsors. Yeah. Um, I was, we've seen some great pictures from um, mm-hmm. from John and Mark of the game and everyone singing and stuff like that. And yeah. the good players get involved, so it was fantastic. Marine yeah. fans were good as well, weren't they? Yeah, good yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think Supported the team it, well. It yeah. makes it then, because you've got yeah. both sets of fans having a bit of a banter across it. And, yeah. and, you know, They're a nice club, aren't they? Yeah, well, really, well, I love the club. T- the and, and touch wood, if we, uh, if we do make the playoffs, then we might see him again. Yeah. You know, it'd be nice, again. It? Yeah. it was funny wasn't it, how it fell really at the weekend with, with us playing Marine and Hyde playing Macclesfield yeah. and there was yeah, some sort of big games. games. Yeah. Yeah. Big and again, games. some some kind of over the Bank Holiday weekend, some games that really defined this part of the season. Yeah. yeah. yeah in yeah. terms of like final standings and stuff. So. Squeaky bum time, as the, the great man I, said. I, I, just, I still always say like, <laughs> it's the quality of this league. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, you, you're going into the last four games and obviously Radcliffe have. Like walked it, yeah. Um, but there's, there's so well, still many things. Guaranteed, yeah, still it? there's so many games that can go up and down and see. How many teams in. are still eligible or can can get in the playoffs? I think there's about eight, yeah, eight to yeah, nine. Yeah, isn't yeah there? there definitely is. Yeah, there'll be a dark horse there that comes out of nowhere. Well, Ashton yeah. have I mean, made Ashton a good. Ashton, yeah. Ashton have made a good run. I know they got beat against Matt, but outside of that, they've they've won about yeah. the last four or five, haven't they? So, yeah. and who's currently top it. of the form, guide? Uh, oh, be be the mighty Rangers. Mighty Rangers. So let's just. You know, hope we can take that into the weekend and keep yeah. it going. And who knows where we end up? But I think if we can get three points from Saturday, then yeah. we're looking we're looking good. Yeah, four uh, games. Absolutely. What did you What did you work out? Like five points. If everyone wins all like it. Yeah, if everybody won every game, which they won't because they play each plays each other. Yeah. I think we need a minimum of five points to secure our yeah, place, yeah. which it's good. It's which good. you think on reflection of the season, that's absolutely incredible. Isn't it? Yeah. And if you'd have offered us that at the start of the year, we'd have probably sold out. Well, we, we, we were hoping to get in the playoffs well, if, if we thought we did that, but to be second for most of the season. People tipping us to go down last year, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah absolutely. At the start summer, of this season, yeah. Yeah, over the summer, people yeah. like, oh, Rans won't do it. And I, I think I saw a couple of comments on the MPL group the other night, and they were saying, well, when we like, sold a down there, and Cleggie had gone, everyone was expecting the wheels to well and truly fall off. I think we had one blip in a game, didn't we, really? Yeah. And then, since then, we put it back together and, like, say... We're and it's credit to the group of lads, isn't it, really? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but and I also think that's a, sort of the club that we've sort of put back together. Yeah. Because it was broken, um, and we've rebuilt it properly with the right characters that we want to bring in, like, off the pitch and on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. We've done it the way that we wanted to do but it. But the club's now uh, an entity that kind of is bigger than anything. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it keeps moving and evolving, doesn't but it? But I thought it was a good test of the status of a club that 
something happens like the manager leaving and it didn't all collapse and fall yeah, over. Yeah. So I think that just shows the, the foundations of We've had two stronger. of them this season because the top goal scorer has gone as well. well exactly. we've still, yeah. I, I don't think you can ever be that sort of club again. We learned yeah, from it, didn't we? We learned exactly. from that sort of the dramas of that year. And we all yeah, well, you, you, you learn from your mistakes, don't yeah. you move on? Speaking of the top goal scorer, Adama scored an absolute oh, goal. Well, yeah. 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 John yeah. Johnson, yeah. overhead yeah. kick. Uh, yeah, I think he got him the team of the week as well for the Scottish Premier. John, yeah. I love every yeah. time he does something, we get a mention. I know it's <laughs> great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, No, but fair play to him. Yeah. Yeah. I was dying for the score because yeah. you know he's obviously been working hard. So to uh, put his name on the map in that way because it was an absolute well, my, uh, my brother-in-law is Scottish and he listens to a podcast and every week they're talking about him oh, right? right. uh, because obviously he's electric yeah. and what's just been missing is the goal but he's yeah. making a lot of noise up there it's fantastic yeah, to see isn't it he's a good kid. we did get that song called put <laughs> <laughs> absolutely how much did we get for the dance <laughs> uh, well uh, Johnny Bonkers asking me every week and yeah. I keep, I keep he's asking him in different ways yeah, doesn't he tried to sneak it in on, on Monday and that's when I'm just never going to tell him. Yeah, he said, he yeah. said that he was asking who else put offers in. So Mark mentioned a couple of clubs who put offers in. He went, How much did they offer for? Like, <laughs> More than what they did. And went, Whoa, how much is that? Is it, you're not bonkers, you're not getting out of us. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, um, it was a good weekend all yeah, round. Really um, full of football and yeah. fun. Which is what yeah, and then off yeah. the pitch, there's even more stuff going on. Again. Um, as always, obviously, this week we've all took our turns in kind of cooking for the kids yeah, at the holiday yeah. club so that's been a success there's been to be fair there's been more kids here than there was on the previous one so yeah, that's growing good. as well yeah, good. Good. it's been, it's been really good and we had, a, we had a visit from the ladies from the council today to come down and see how we were getting on and they were really impressed with the numbers and the attendance and I think the word's spreading about it now and as the week's gone on more kids have come because yeah. the mates have told them about it yeah. we've had more kids coming from within the club more kids coming from the intro introduction to football and I think it's, a, it's good as well because there's parents that have come and dropped the kids off this week that have never been here before yeah. so they're then speaking with the coaches that are leading the, the camp and they're saying well, what else do you do and we're, we're yeah. then increasing our reach within the community and it's, it's just it's amazing it's, what's it's going, going on it's gone like. well um, Lee's done a cracking job leading it this week yeah. and yeah. Mo's been involved which the kids yeah. love yeah. they're all asking it's like a little Simon celebrity isn't it? oh yeah <laughs> well <laughs> all the kids have seen Simon shirt so we had to ask parents are we alright to the Mo but most of them said yes yeah. so yeah. it's it good to see Sam <laughs> down the other day just saying hello to everyone as well yeah yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. nice yeah. And, so. the, and the younger lads who've helped out like Kean and Brandon it's good to say from what we've Built on in the summer from when it when it was our first time. It's second it? one, isn't it? This one, yeah. so yeah. it's grown. So and obviously we couldn't do it without Beth. No, yeah, yeah so we got Beth. to Bev. Yeah. yeah, I tell you what, you don't want to mess with Bev. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to mess with Bev. She she yeah. she reels the roost in there, but again, cracking job. So Just much appreciated. But one quick, who who brought the Lego though? There's like a, uh, Stacey, you in there, there's Lego over it. Stacey yeah. brought it in, yeah, because it was really it was raining really bad and yeah. Yeah, covering in and all that, but I think some of them were a bit fed up with that. So Stacey dropped off a bin bag full of Lego, which I thought I did yesterday, picking Lego We've been yeah. finding that for years and years, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's gone really well and yeah. it'll be on again in the summer um, yeah. and hopefully it'll be bigger and better again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, great, super. And obviously on that note, just going back to the Marine game, we had the uh, the DKMS people oh, in yes. doing yes. the um, the the donor registration event, so really obviously... Good. Uh, was it 70 uh, something? They got I think it ended 71. up with 71 donors that yeah, were, right. were onboarded to the register Super. just from that one game, which well, is that's, incredible. That's 71 people they didn't have before who could save a life. Yeah, yeah. it's a fantastic And the way, the way that the yeah, lads yeah. and the, the club and the fans and the volunteers have got behind, it's incredible. Yeah. I was a bit concerned when I did my swap though, because I'd had a heavy weekend of Guinness, and I did say, <laughs> does it matter that I've had about... 15 pints of Guinness over the last two days. She went, no, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Do you know what? I've got some cracking photos of people doing the swabs that I could have some real fun with. <laughs> 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 Whoa. 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 Hey, that's getting a bit dark, aren't <laughs> you? Hey? It's that three minutes, though, it's like... Yeah. That's it, isn't it? It's not like it's hard. It's yeah. just sort of a... And I was really hung over and then drank again so it wasn't the greatest of form of that just came back saying alcoholic yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can you know you, you, if you're a match you can do something amazing so yeah. you know and we've said to the guys that they're more than welcome to come back again next yeah, season that's yeah. Right. Yeah. so you didn't do it uh, last weekend there will be opportunities to do it yeah again and it's like anything possible. you know we're working with these different organisations now and we'll you know it's not just a one it we'll keep doing it and we'll keep doing it we'll keep supporting yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah obviously from our perspective thank you to everyone that got behind it yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. and the Marine fans as well yeah yeah that was great to see and that for them sharing it as well yeah, yeah. 
Um, no, good, really good. So, should we? Uh, we had uh, we had some interesting questions flying in. Questions hey, for the board. Honestly, when you put this out, there's some absolute random weird stuff people want to know. We don't well, have to vet some of the questions as well, though, don't we? Yeah, some we can't ask. Well, the, 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 the <laughs> one who was asking about what Tony got up to in his years. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we can discuss no, that. I walked into halfway through a conversation about him. Oh yeah, yeah, I went down in the uh, the um, hot tub and I was like, what? Oh, 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 me. oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a good time to walk back in there. <laughs> so yeah, we got, to be fair, we got a lot of questions this week. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we probably can't go through them all. Right, oh, okay, well, let's just... Andy let's... does have to pick the kids up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, obviously, how many Guinness? Well, we'll let you know. That's TBC. Um, it, to be fair, it's quite a slow day, this, because... Uh, in I'm... fact, while we're at it, Frank, do us a favour. Get <laughs> going with the bar with you, lad. <laughs> yes, yes. Best right. for sitting here. Yes. I don't have to do on the end and go to the bar all the time. It's my turn. It's my turn. Uh, well, oh, please. four in, one for yourself. Keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, obviously, lots on there, which is really good to see. Um, I'll just work my way down the list. So, anyone from football, past or present, who you would like on the podcast? Are we just going to go in? Yeah, just second turn. Yeah. Yeah. Who would they be on top? Why you kick off? I think for me, I'd love to sit down with Fergie and ask him loads and loads of questions about his upbringing. You could have what met motivated him. him. I know the one, this season. I know <laughs> day, the one match I'm missing about 15 years. Right, is this just going to be all United or Liverpool? Well, why are they all done, Princess? You just take your turn. This is Tony's go. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> Do you, not, do you not have any respect for the, the great one? Nice one. Hey, I'm right. absolutely yeah. respected. He's an absolutely awesome manager. Just, uh, you know, just try and widen it up a bit. So yeah. I, just, I just think he's probably the greatest manager that's ever lived, hasn't he? Oh, God. For one. I feel ill. I feel faint. So, uh, no. the stories he can tell. Sammy's at the wheel? Sammy's yeah. at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what, what stories he could tell? And, a, and he also looks a bit. Bloody good laugh as well. You can yeah, say, yeah, he looks like weird as well. Yeah, no, yeah I mean, definitely. if you listen, you know, you watch. The... Don't talk about horse horse racing though. But there you go. <laughs> you watch... stay off that one. <laughs> He's big into that, isn't he? He's massively into that. Oh yeah. 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 You watch the um, you watch the documentary. Um, yeah. And you know, as a Liverpool fan, you've still got a you Liverpool fan. Ma yes. <laughs> uh, massive respect for the guy because of what he's achieved and the way he talks about the game and stuff like that. You know, to to be able to sit down with him and ask him questions would be. I just think his his models as well. Yeah. He was brought up as a you know as a young apprentice. He was um, he was a shop steward at nineteen in the shipyards in Glasgow. And you think that must take some balls you know, it comes to do back that? To you though, and it's something we've talked about in the past. Standards. Exactly. And his non-negotiable were the, the little things and it's really interesting I was I can't remember what it was something something in work I was listening to and he was saying worry about the little things because that's what your competition isn't exactly. worrying about yeah, yeah. and that's what sets clubs apart and yeah. you know how many generations of football did he evolve yeah. and go again and how many teams, how many did, teams he did he make it's not that he but it was standards he came you know, in and set a standard and that's what's needed which I, I also think now. that when you listen to his ex-players mm -hmm. That still call him the boss. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Still have huge respect, respect for him. Even though things have happened and they've moved on from clubs or they've moved out of United or whatever. Obviously, Roy Keane's got his beef with him, like, but um, no, like the, the Beckhams and people that talk about him, like the boss and what a guy and how much, and Ronaldo and stuff, you know what? Yeah. I think when, he's, when, he's, when he wins the Champions League, he's walking down the steps. You see him, right? Yeah. yeah. when he goes straight over to him. And, he, yeah. and that, that for me is like, that's respect, isn't it? That's a sort of a love for the club. And that's, that's earned, isn't it? Yeah, yeah just absolutely. To earned. play for someone like, like that, and like you say, you've been successful, that's because of that respect of people yeah. wanting yeah. to play yeah. for you. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Is. definitely. Um, oh, go on. Be great, man. Shanksy Dean. Shanksy. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, this is my guy. Sorry, man. Um, Shankly, it's got to be for me. Yeah, I get that. Um, yeah, I get you know, I think. You know, in the same way that Tony talks about Fergie and stuff like that, I think Shankly, he, he, he took over at Liverpool when they were in the doldrums, really, and, and they, they, were, they weren't the side or the club that they are today. And he was the foundation of making Liverpool one of the most successful teams in Europe. Mm -hmm. So I think he established the ethics, the morals, the He's way of doing that. things. <laughs> hey, I didn't <laughs> <interrupt you. laughs> <laughs> and the and the kind of that boot room mentality that yeah. you know I, I think we all believe in. 
Yeah. Um, and I think um, grounded. Yeah, yeah, grounded. Come from the same background. Yeah, yeah. class guy. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. that you get that. Well, like you th- your, your you working th- class roots. Yeah. yeah. And what makes some standards, so great, models. Yeah. Well, yeah. You think about around them dockyards in, in Glasgow. What, the great footballers and managers it, it's produced. And Weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy because yeah. they probably you could throw a blanket over where they all yeah. lived. Yeah. I mean, if you look at that Celtic side, Celtic that won, side won, won the European Cup. They all lived within ten mile of each other. Crazy. So I think you know he comes from that era, and look, everyone knows what he did for the club. I just think he'd be fascinating to talk to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's one for you. Slight tangent. Dream football team. Who's your manager? Anyone in history? Obviously, Fergie or. Shankly. Oh, dream that's, football. A that's a one, tough man. one, that. What about it's someone like Jock, about Jock Steen? Who, like, talks over about Fergie? The, the Celtic. No, not over Fergie, but he'd be interesting to have as a manager. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I can't choose against Fergie because he's been I don't think you can argue but... against Fergie's kind of success in the area that he achieved it in. He's changing the subject just before you Sorry, don't change the subject. <laughs> Mark, who would you have on the podcast? <laughs> what's, what's the question? <laughs> who would you have on the podcast, past or present? Um, for me... It's not a manager, it's a player. Uh, mine's always been Diego Maradona. I think he's the reason that I fell in love with football. Yeah, he's um, I remember 86 World Cup, so I was, what, I may have been, about six, seven. 20, um, Do you remember what? 86? Mm-hmm. You'd have been 11, would I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were born in 77. 86, um, you'd have been nine, nine then. Nine, 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 nine. Can we add up on it? Right, so I'm nine, and my, my uncle's watching him, and it was the goal that he's. I can't remember the goal, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, Against us? No, it wasn't that goal. And I remember just watching him, and just in a little black and white TV going, wow, like literally blown away with it. Because obviously into football and stuff then, but it was just that, and the life that he's led. You know, when he was at Napoli and. The mad and he's at Barcelona and the madness of his life. Oh, he's got some stories, haven't he? Like, yeah. He's all involved in like the cartels and stuff, yeah, and yeah. all the gangsters and all. And I just think, what person to sort of sit and talk to and go, <laughs> so what happened there? And if you know, I just say, you, know, like, you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of him because he's so nuts. <laughs> like, we've seen the videos of him like playing at Barcelona when it all yeah. kicks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fl- yeah. He's just nuts. He's really, like, and the, well, he won the World Cup by himself. Didn't yeah, he? and the yeah. T- his touch and his his ability as a player, and he played in a game where. It was hard as nails, yeah. you know what I mean? It was like you got got hammered, didn't you? And yeah. people used to target you in games and he still produced that sort of magic. I don't know people always go, Oh, Messi and Ronaldo and all that. A different game. But I am personally I'm a massive Maradona fan yeah, of him. He's an absolutely unbelievable player. <laughs> Great Maybe when you go to Naples now. They still adore him. Still yeah. adore him. Oh, God, adore him. Yeah. I was last, I last there last year and yeah. it was like and I just wanted to go to there just because of, he, he played there. And I remember when he played for in the World Cup. And the Italians sort of turned against their own to go against him, for him. And he, you know, he wasn't Italian and all that, but it was just it's a like madness story. Italian. And I watched like the documentaries on him and the lifestyle he was leading. Obviously, he fell and bad things happened and things, but his actual football journey. Yeah, yeah it's just I just find him really for one like personal to, to sort of um, to be uh, that player to. Uh, Millions of people all over the world, yeah, yeah, and everyone knows it's him. Just the one name, him. isn't it? It's not yeah. like George Best or, or yeah. yeah, but it's like no, there's no social Maradona. media then, no. So it's just like like Pele, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like that legendary sort of figure coming through, and you're thinking yeah. in an era where it's not easy to be, yeah, everywhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be good, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Just the touch and he's like. His balance and uh, oh he's like, wow, he's just class and his lifestyle was. Steve Bond should still have brought him down. Oh, definitely, yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we sample Andy. Were you having? Hey. 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 I went to the dentist yesterday, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what, Gaza? Yeah, mm. great show. I think we'd have a riot if nothing else. Yeah. We'd have a great time. <laughs> we'd have a Chinese takeaway in a fishing rod, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, I've been, to, I've been to a few. Whenever he's on like a sports oh, event or something, I go because his stories Not that thing, come on. Are, are just <laughs> incredible. And again, similar to my like his ability to do what he did, being in the state he was in, what a player. And obviously, you know, growing up, he was kind of. Tottenham, Everton, do you know what I mean? And he was kind of like, he was class, but he was off his face yeah. at the you know same what, time. You know, he he should have, sh- uh, it pays me to say, but he should have gone to United. Oh, yeah. If, I mean, if he had gone him. There, if he'd have gone there, 
I mean, do you think, I think that this, would have helped him? Yeah, hundred percent it would have. Do you think? Because he only ended up going to Spurs because I think Terry Venables or whoever it was at the time agreed to buy his mum and dad a yeah. house. And he said he had, he had an agreement with him yeah. to sign. We're going to sign him. Then he turned round and he said, "Oh, I've signed for." Do you know if he'd have kept for his head, though, he, What a player! I mean, what a player anyway. He yeah. bought. He bought uh, his mum and dad a house and his sister a sunbed. <laughs> That was part of the deal, apparently. Yeah. But like some of the stories, like he went to a testimonial game and him and Maradona met each other yeah, and they were both off the faces in the tunnel and stuff yeah. like that. Like, for me, that's just like brilliant. Do you, do, you, do you know what? Who actually reminds me of a modern day Gazza? Phil Foden. Phil Foden? Yeah, just yeah. the way he glides and the way... Yeah. What, what, if you watch Phil Foden play, it's very similar to Gazza. You notice when Gazza was running with the ball, he never looked at the ball. Yeah. No. His head was always up and he just both feet either side and he was. He knew where the ball around. was, didn't he? Chairman's just waving there. Um, and and uh, you, you watch Foden, he yeah. does he does the same I sort of thing. I love Foden, he's yeah, a he's class a, he's player. player. He's, he's, I think player. he's the best player in the league at the yeah, minute. He's, he's, he's unbelievable, brilliant. yeah. It's unbelievable. And still so young as well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there you go. That, that would be mine. Hey, sorry, guys. Uh, 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 I'm surprised that's done, you know, obviously we're going to out it now on the podcast that Andy's a closet Chelsea fan. I think we outed this last um, time, didn't we? I'm sure um, about this conversation. But we, we but all know. Did you not give him any grief last night about the oh, game? Oh, <laughs> hey. that was awful. Do you know what, let's be honest, neither were good, were they? Like, no. like, if you, if it you was think like that's, next goal wins, wasn't it? All in this country, no. let's be honest, it yeah. was appalling. It was next goal wins. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. sorry for bringing that up, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you were sorry, texting me last night. Well, should I tell you what? Tony texted me back. <laughs> you can fuck off. <laughs> charming. Charming. Nice. But if that's the top level of football in this country, it well, yeah. wasn't, wasn't yeah. the best, was it? Shocking. Come and watch your islands, because I guarantee you'll have more entertainment. Yeah, Get definitely. Down to I had a little bad on the group last night. Yeah. 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 Mate, yeah. you could see what you were writing last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, and what have we got next? So, yeah, brilliant. Um, so, any player back at the club that's previously been here, who would it be? Can I go? On your go, Chairman. Uh, there's obviously there's quite a few that I'd love to see back. Um, I had some very special times with him, but the one that always sticks out of my head is Gaz Kenny. Yeah. Uh, captain at Wembley. Yeah. Um, what a true gent. Great lad. Great player. Um, and it's a bit unfortunate that we got Gaz sort of not old, but like older the, as a player. The back end of his career, I would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Very well, that's <laughs> um, yeah. And I think if Gaz had come here younger, I think he'd still be enough. Can you imagine Gaz and Butts playing together? Wow. Mate, no disrespect to uh, Captain Fantastic who's playing with Butts at the moment. But yeah, I think Gaz was a leader. Great. You know, we've got them players here, but if you're talking about past players that you'd love to bring back. But there's a lot of other players there that I'd love to see back at the club. Um, but yeah, Gaz always stands out for me. Yeah, yeah, good shout. Right, good yeah. shout. Um, I think for me, in terms of my time at the club, um, it would be Cal Dolan. Um, yeah. I think he, he, he he's class. Special player. Wasn't he's it? a very special player, and I think that you know, obviously, he went through a bit of a tough time, but the way he kind of um, went about getting himself back in form, getting himself fit, getting his, you know, just getting his mojo yeah. back, and that season that he had with us before, he, he obviously went on to 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 Fleetwood was just unbelievable, and I also really like him as a lad. Yeah, you know what he's, I mean? a he's, he's a top lad. He's a top lad. Quite fairly quiet when you first get to know him, but once you get to know him, yeah. he's got a good sense of humour. We had a, one or two brilliant nights out with him. <laughs> um, but he used to terrify defences. Yeah. Some of the goals he scored, and yeah, he was he was unbelievable for me. So I wish him wish him all the best. We, yeah, you know, we're still in contact yeah. now with his yeah. all. He's a great lad. So yeah, I'd love to see him back. Do you remember that goal he scored against Money in away? Oh, what a goal that what a was! Goal. And it was was it one all or something? And he, yeah. He sort of uh, was he charged the ball down or something, yeah. took it on the keeper and banged the ground with bananas, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant player, brilliant lad. So yeah, it'd be cal for me. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. So for me, it's like Mark said, there's lots and lots of players we've had here all, over, over the years. The same one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be surprised. Um, have we got an actual? We will have, won't we? How many players we've actually had since we went semi-pro? Yeah, we need uh, a club statistician. Easy for you to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that one. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Right. right, sorry, mate. But yeah, it, that's um, <laughs> we will have it somewhere. The amount of players we've had here, and we've had you come back. There'd be quite a lot, wouldn't there? Since 2018, if you like, when we started in yeah. counties. Uh, for me, 
there's lots and lots you could choose from, but from a character, I think Warren Gerrard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Warren Gerrard was, and he probably admitted himself he probably wasn't the best player at the club. He wouldn't admit that. <laughs> <laughs> but he was. Tell you what, he would give you everything. Yeah, oh, mate, everything yeah. on a Jack game, lad, yeah. and a totally genuine guy you would he like was the, to meet. Him and Steve Wall were like. Yeah. Steve Wall was an absolute yeah. like beast. Just he was the same one. Yeah, it? just everything on the pitch, everything all but, the time. Wargood playing every position you wanted yeah. and I've seen him play all over the pitch and he just wanted to play one of those kids like you say you get, get a ball on the street you would go and play and play and play and not come in until it's dark he was he was just a great guy the only time I've seen uh, Warren go uh, very quiet and sheepish is when he nearly got sent off at Wembley <laughs> when he made that tackle he's going he's going and he just went ooh I'm going to get away from this yeah. he got away with it though didn't he yeah. but it was a definite he should have what a genuine it. guy and he really sort of I think he appreciated everyone around the club yeah, he and he, was, it, you know, he, was, he, he understood the things that people were going through and you know, he'd do anything yeah, for the club. Yeah. Really, yeah. really good guy and you know, welcome back any good. other day. Good yeah. show. Good. So obviously for me, this is my um, first year at the club so I'm, I've got a few to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you can look much further than Adama and I think like yeah. we've just touched on, what to, to, this club's got a great pedigree if you look over the previous few years of yeah. taking players and pushing them onto the next yeah. level, which is something we should be massively proud about. Yeah. For us to take a lad in the summer and within kind of six months have him playing Premier League football in Scotland is absolutely incredible. Yeah, His amazing. pace was frightening. Yeah. And you know, you knew if he was one on one with the kid, you knew he was getting that ball. And yeah. I think, to be fair, credit to him, we are where we are in the league for, for, for what he did yeah, for us. And, and top again, scorer, yeah. if someone said Adama's coming back tomorrow, you'd, yeah, you'd have it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Of course you would. I'm yeah. Having, I don't know, well, go on, we can't. Yeah, yeah. Read, yeah. Don't I, know, but, <laughs> yeah I know what you're going to say. Yeah. But I, I just look at it and I go, like, people go, oh, selling club and that. I don't think we're selling club. I think we, we actually get the best out of the players and give them the platform to go on. And that for me is, if we can get the best out of him for half a season, yeah. or we can get the best out of Caldwell for a couple of seasons. Or, but they've know, been a massive Elliot. part of that journey, whether it's six months, two years. Yeah, but he's like, like the Elliot Never coming in, getting his move, you know, and then you got Sam Tickler who came in on loan. It's like, no he's coincidence. Like England, England under 21s keeping yeah. out. He's, he's Looking like he's going to get a big move as well, doesn't he, over the summer? Yeah. And he's like, they're the players that you've helped get to where they want to get yeah. to. And like, look, Kelly had gone back to Salford. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kelly came in here, he was like struggling to get in the seat and then he got his break in the but team But they all come in. back and Kelly was here earlier in the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... Yeah. Well, it's, it's about like, look, we're not at the top end of the, at the top end of the table, like the tree of football. So we are in that sort of lower ranks in, in the platform of football. So of course we're going to get players coming through us. And of course we're going to try and push them players higher up the tree. It's not about being a selling club. If you're a selling club, if you're in the Prem, yeah. and you've got to sell players. Yeah. But like, look at Brighton's model. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're Brighton's model. I think they're the only ones in 100, massive... £125 million pound profit. profit from on players. sales. Exactly. Just so that's that, that yeah. to me. And, and they've still got a great team. And they're still doing well. And they've got yeah. a, a great sort of... That's sustainable the football. And that's that giving yeah. lads opportunities to progress their and careers. I think, I think when you go to oh, a selling club, it's old school. Crap. Yeah. It's like, you've got to be a club that's sustainable. But you've also got to be a club that gives lads the opportunity to go yeah, and get where they want to get to. You've got to be proud to be part of their, their journey. Yeah. You know, if lads have come here and they've had a season or two and then they've gone on to league football, well, that's something we should yeah. take massive pride but in. You know. You're doing it as a, like, you're recruiting the right players. Yeah. If you're being able to do that, you're bringing them, like Adama came from Cheadle. Yeah. And, you know, we had a great season, the manager from there sort of recommended him to Cleggie and all that, and we brought him in and we sort of took a bit of a gamble on him, really, because he was our main guy. And then he's gone on and done stuff. So we, we, we as a club, we, we should be taking a bit of credit for that, that we've gone, you know what, we'll, we'll, yeah. we like him, we like what he does. Same as Elliot. Yeah. Same as Cal. You know, and Sam coming in on loan. All the stuff that, like, we've had. And you go, well, we've done that the right way and we've looked after the player. And we made up that they've gone higher. And it's yeah. not a negative on the club to go and sell these players. And we're and never getting that player's way of their progression. 100% you wouldn't do that. And, and it's a short career, isn't it? at the top end like to make as much money as you can and good luck to him and we would never ever stand in the way and plus it sorts us out because we get paid out yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. of these players so it's a win-win it's yeah. no coincidence as, as a club we've got these players on developed them from the level they were at yeah. to a next level and they've gone on higher courses yeah. like, you know, you've got, it's not like, credit, for, credit for the club it's not, it's not a fluke when you, no. when you have five six seven yeah. of them that you can yeah. talk about so. exactly yeah. and then like Kane going to Mac 
but it's a big move for him. I'm sure he'll go on and do bigger and better yeah. things yeah. from yeah. Mac. Yeah. No, not disrespecting Mac, but he will go on to do bigger things. Yeah, he will. He's, he's an outstanding good, player. He's a good player. Very yeah. good player. No. Mm. Bro, great question. Good question. Um, okay, so uh, one player in the NPL who would you who you would want to sign for Ireland, if possible? Can I go? Because I'm ready. You go straight into me. You look ready. Go on, princess. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> my, mine and uh, uh, generally this lad I just love how he plays football I think his movement is amazing and his ability is like top draw I think it's Matty Sargent for me mm. I'd love to see him back here I think we tried really hard to keep him over the summer yeah um, gutted to see him go yeah gutted to see him go but I think generally like, off the pitch nice, one of the nicest lads I'll ever meet on the pitch he's just, just he like floats don't he? he's yeah. like weirdly yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. And he, he just he, he excites me on the on the pitch like he thinks like you think that it's gonna open up for him like every time he gets that ball he has that driving run and he just creates doesn't he he's a he's a fantastic he's great player. for us last year didn't he yeah I just, I just really enjoy watching him play football yeah. even if it's not for us I'd go and watch him yeah. play football because he's really just an outstanding player that, yeah. that's my shout yeah okay. so who are you having um, so we've seen lots of great players this year haven't we one player stood out for me is the uh, the ginger Paul Scholes. Yeah. Up at FC United, <laughs> oh, was, uh, yeah, I think he had a great yeah. game against yeah. us. A couple of great games against us. Aaron, Aaron Bennett, no relation, but uh, he was. Um, <laughs> he had a really good Aaron, yeah. Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's delivering it was superb. Wasn't yeah. it? He was oh, brilliant. He, he, yeah. Another one who, who was seen to be all over the pitch in the, yeah. right, in the same really place, and, you know, all yeah, over the pitch and, yeah, and, and dictating the game as well. Yeah. So I had, I had two in my mind actually, and I, from. Actually, I'm going to say Kane. I'm going to say Kane because when you actually... I mentioned him before and put him in your head. No, no, it, it wasn't because of that. But I, I was thinking about him before and then I was thinking about a, another strike in the league that we know. Yeah. Um, but actually, I think the other strike is maybe kind of going the other way to where Kane is going, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah. like towards the end, whereas I think Kane's just kind of still, still on the upward curve. Young lad, isn't he? And, and I think that... Look, he's done well at Mac, he did brilliantly for us. And I think on his day, there's, 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 not, much there's better. not much better in the no, league. I really, I really don't you think You know, we've, um, we, we came, Keynes, which is a great thing for this club to have. Kane was our first ever pro contract. Yeah, first ever player. I remember sitting with yeah. well, Dave yeah. and yeah. Kane, and we signed him before. Was he 17 now? Yeah. Yeah. something. 18. I think Mac just turned 18, 18, wasn't he? And like buzzing and being around him and having that enjoyment that he got from it. Yeah. It's classic. And you know what? It was good to see him when Matt came in New Year's yeah. Day, and he stayed and had a little like stayed in the bar and had a little chat. With oh, he's a good lad, and he's, yeah. he's he's good lad. Mate, he's nuts. We, he's absolutely crackers. We, like, but what a guy! We, we, were, sorry, we were sorry to see him go, but yeah. that, and it was like, right for him to go. I think. Yeah. I think he needed to go. I think. Yeah. And then the Matt game, you know, he was getting the usual banter that you get off yeah. the fans when someone leaves. But after well, the game, they all love him. After the game, he was in the lounge, like Mark said, and he was having a crack, and we were we were having a having a beer and stuff, and. I, just, I, I genuinely hope he does well. Yeah, and, and right. Whether it's at Mac or whoever else it might be in the future, maybe I wish him all the best. And yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see him. Uh, I'd love to see him playing mm. in this team for us. Yeah, one yeah. of those na yeah. na na naturally talented players. One, yeah, he yeah. used to get kicked. Really, he, he yeah. used to get proper yeah. volley. Yeah. And when he first. And he's not a physical player, is he? No. No, but he, he bounces up. But I'll tell you what, he, he could can dish it out as well. Oh, yeah, he dish it out as well. He's got a massive... Yeah, he's got a bit of a... <laughs> <got> a <massive laughs> yeah. That's the Liverpool in him. <laughs> you know what, though? That, that's, that, that that's says right, a yeah. lot about a player, is that it, Kane's like... Oh, it sounds a bit weird, like, but he's a street footballer. Yeah. He's a bit like the Rooney mould. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like... He will get kicked, but he will bounce up and he'll, he'll, he'll log it in his head and he'll, you're getting it next. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's one of them. But Clever. He's, and, you know, yeah. he's, he's only a small lad, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's not now. Last time he's 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 been been coming, yeah. yeah. But yeah. He, he was like only 17 here, and he was running a men, like yeah. volleying him all over the place because he was quick. And he's up, back, go again, back, go again, back, go again. He, the games that he won here for us, yeah. unreal. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Brilliant. So mine is um, Deck Howe from Gaines, but I think obviously he scored. He scored a couple past us this season, yeah. mm -hmm. but. Obviously, when you look at the highlights that the MPL put out, I mean, he's up there in the top goal scorer charts. Yeah. But to, to be consistent like that throughout a season, I think at this level of football, um, it's impressive. And obviously, what I saw of him when, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, he, he shipped he, a couple he, past us. Yeah, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was really good against us. Handful. Really and, yeah. you know, that's. Yeah. that's and do you know what? He shines, you know, games, but are not the top of the league, are they? 
so he shines so in be, a team yeah, like that as well. Yeah. They are good, they are very good there, side. But where they are in the league, yeah, yeah. It, it shows yeah, some sure. great match at their place, wasn't it? Do you remember? Oh. Yeah, we, was that the 90th yeah. minute equaliser? Luke, Luke, saved the penalty. And then we went up and scored. <laughs> we went up and scored to get the equaliser. Luke's not like Luke um, saved a penalty, yeah, is it? And by the way, how bad was the ref that day? Oh yeah. my God. I don't think yeah, you walked well, out. Oh, we don't, we don't say yeah, that. No, we, we, we love all referees. <laughs> and, um, yeah, oh, come on. We need a few points. It's not what you said on Monday, was it? Come on. I'll tell you, Monday's referee was uh, <laughs> questionable. Yeah. So, uh, but no, he's he's a good player and a great shout. There's so many, isn't there, yeah, in this yeah. league? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. great standard. competitive league. And like we've touched on the, you know, there's players that are playing for the teams in the bottom half of the league that would easily Ooh, play that. a division well, you, above. You look at you look at Bradford uh, against Radcliffe the other day. I mean, like you'd be thinking Radcliffe are going to. Mm-hmm. You know, walk all over him. He didn't, did he? Two, yeah. Bradford. Bradford's captain. He was handful. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was really great. Quality. Quality. Is that that number ten up front? Was it? Was that the lad up front? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, I'd actually like whoever makes the curries at Bradford. <laughs> 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 That'd be great. Right. We got looks after there, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Peter from FC United. That's <laughs> yeah, who I'd want in yeah. our team. Yeah. 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 Nice guy, innit? What nice a guy. guy. Can we put a bid in for Peter? Oh, that'd be ace. Brilliant. Um Okay, so biggest inspiration in football? I don't want to go inspiration. first. Inspiration? Oh, what, as a player? No, just in just anyone. Right. Set Blatter? <laughs> Set Blatter, no. I'm going to say Fergie again. I can no, feel I it coming. say Fergie again. He was going to say you. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. Bobby Charlton? <laughs> Matt Busby? I don't, do you know what? I, I was, that's my claim to fame. Bobby Charlton once made me a cup of tea in his house. There you go. Didn't he play here? Yeah, 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 played yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Against one of our ultras, Frank, played yeah, against yeah, him, yeah. yeah. We need to get that yeah, it, was, uh, it was great, yeah. Stan Boardman as well, he was playing. Was? And Ian St. John was in that. Yeah, Ian St. Yeah, John, yeah, well, yeah. 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 So, an inspiration for me, I've always loved this player. It was Brian Robson. He was my hero. As I was growing up in like the 70s, 80s, and when he signed for United, I thought it was just epitomised what a player should be. Yeah. He was brave, he was fearless. You know, you see clips of him now where he's winning the ball back in his in his in his own half and then getting on the end of a cross to come in. But he was also a captain and a yeah, leader. Yeah, yeah. What a what a, a man he was. And he said, I always remember the tale he used to say that he was sat with the, the young lads at United, like, and they were all showing off like they got these big watches and, and Robbo said, Yeah, I've got my watch there. And he said, that's, that's a bit of a shit watch that. And he said, No, take it off, have a look at it in the inside. It's like Presented to Brian Robinson won the fastest goal in the 1982 World, World, World Cup. So, yeah, yeah, I have, yeah, have, have that one. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you that. talked about Maradona before, but I always remember the game in 1984, was it 1983, where United played Barcelona in like the Cup Winners' Cup. We were 2-0 down from playing Barcelona away. Come back down, we needed to win three, and Robbo got carried off at the end. What a fantastic yeah, yeah, game yeah. That, that was. He was throwing himself in the... Yeah, was that you in the white kit then? No, no, it wasn't. Yeah. In the red kit. Played at Old Trafford. They, oh, won, that was the they beat him 3-0. That later. was a couple of his cup, that. But that game epitomised Brian, Brian Robson for me. He was, he was a leader and he fearless. And it was a shame he's, you know, he's had so many injuries and he wasn't yeah. in that at the World Cup because, I'll tell you what, if Robbo was playing when Matt Maradona was playing, yeah. he, would, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't have let him pass there. Right. No chance. <laughs> about that but yeah he was my sort of foot, footballing yeah. hero when I was growing up mine's um, similar to, to Tony in the sense that Joe Robson as well it was uh, <laughs> growing up uh, Kenny Dalglish was just my hero I've had the I've met him twice as really? well and he's yeah he was just like he's just got this aura around he's a nice guy yeah he's a really nice guy actually and I know he comes across sometimes with the media to be a bit like grumpy and stuff but I think he's got good reason for that with a lot of stuff that went on over the years but actually as a, as a, as a bloke he was really welcoming really nice and I suppose for me as a player one of the best players the country's ever produced the UK and I think as a manager he did amazing things as well um, and then what he did for, for the club as a whole through yeah. Hillsborough and everything that yeah, went on yeah, around that um, and to this day still as, as a, as a figurehead for the club he's just he's just an inspiration to me I think the Hillsborough have massively affected him didn't he? Oh, I know it did. affected lots and lots of people but it's why he was I think it, yeah, yeah. I think it really yeah. really, really yeah. I think it was after that 4-4 four, four draw wasn't it with yeah. Everton in the FA Cup and I think he'd been to he'd been to every single funeral yeah and you know, took his soul on him, didn't of course he yeah. did, and you could soul. see it in him. Yeah. 
you know, so as well, a player, a, as a, a four-hour jog against Everton will fucking do you, won't it? So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he was saying, that's when Everton were good. Um, <laughs> but um, but no, yeah. He, what, uh, uh, if you're looking for an inspiration, and you know, well, I'll tell you what, he, um, United and Liverpool rival, rival and all that, and he was a fantastic player, but. What he did for Hillsborough, the, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, sitting yeah. like bang yeah. up there in yeah. people's respects. Yeah. As, as, as a man and a person. It goes beyond football. Of course it does, yeah. Of course no, it does. Yeah. Course no, it's fair play. Yeah. Nick, Mark? Um, mine's like probably a bit sort of, you won't be thinking that we think this, but mine's uh, Eddie Howe. Mm-hmm. I'm a massive fan of his. I really wanted him to become the Everton manager. I really want him to get the England job actually next. Yeah. Um, he should have gone to Everton, shouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. He for me, but, to yeah, Everton, I'd yeah. loved him to come to Everton. Do you I, think? He's an Evertonian. Is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah he's an Evertonian. But, but yeah. What, I, what, I, what I like about him I like is him. that... He, <laughs> <laughs> what I like about him is that he, he like he stayed at Bournemouth yeah. and he got him so, like, literally... I, I saw the documentary where he was behind the scenes and he was talking about what he'd done and... He like restructured it all, you know, built it for Did he take them from League Two? Yeah, they had nothing. They, 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 were, they were lower than that, weren't they? Yeah, they, 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 they were in the non league for a time, weren't they? Fourth division, they know they were fourth division. And then he sort of got the job because he was a player. And then he sort of changed, I don't know about standards. He set the standards at Bournemouth and he brought all these things in. And, and I think like with the Newcastle job, with all the money that's come in, and the, but he's not really gone out and spent. Yeah, daft money. He's, he's, he's overachieved yeah. based on what he's brought in. Yeah, he? but I, I just like the way he played, and I, I just love the, the Bournemouth story behind him. And you know that, and it, for me, coming from a club like this, that's about building something from nothing and trying to get it to where you want to get it to, it is an inspiration for me. I think generally, you know, you talk about guys like massive names that you've both mentioned, um, and I think Eddie Howe will be a huge influence in football going forward. I yeah. think he's just got something about him that will create this. So, and if he gets the England job, it might be a bit early for him in his career. I think he'd be a great England manager. Yeah, but I think really do you think he'll get it? Do you well, think he'll stay? I, I don't well, think well, he'll stay in Newcastle. No, it depends if he wants to get I think he's good enough to yeah. get it, but I think he might... Is he one of the managers that likes the day-to-day stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's different, yeah. Different, it might be a bit early yeah, for him. Yeah. a bit early yeah. for him to yeah. get well, it sort that, of towards that, the end, not the end, but like towards the late. Because Southgate's gone in and out. I know like rumours about him going to United and stuff, but... All of will. I think where where did he go? Well, do me a favour. I, I think the, the England set up damaged him. He wouldn't him. lower himself, would he? <laughs> I, I think the England thing has damaged him. I think the England so, thing yeah. has damaged yeah. his managerial career. Do you think Southgate's gone a couple of yeah. years yeah. longer than he should have? Because at one point, his pedigree was up there, wasn't it? Yeah, get the semi-finals well, and you, finals. You, you, yeah. You've got to look at it and go, right, on paper, got us to a final, got us to a semi, yeah. all that great. But look at the team he had now. You, if you put... A pep or a clop yeah, or something like that in charge they, of that team. The in-game management, the change he'd make, the freedom he'd probably give. Yeah. But he has progressed though, from where they were. Hundred percent, he has he's, made. He's yeah. progressed that yeah. team. I just thought, but is that him or is that the I'm system? I'm not sure about that though. I, mm. I, I think that players nowadays, it's a total like when you go back to like the Gary Neville, you know, bit where it was like Liverpool players sat there, you know, yeah. and it, yeah. he's. he's that wasn't part of it now, so everyone's saying oh, that he it's broke It's been that. easy to integrate yeah, which, that, now, that, that rivalry now isn't like what it used to be. Yeah. It's hard being the England man- manager though, isn't it? It is. But it that these, these players now have played for England for failed. 10 years already in the, in yeah. the junior ranks and stuff, so they're not yeah. their mates, are they? I think, I think, yeah. he has, I think, I think he's, he's done a good that. job. Didn't he take him for the 21s? 21s. Yeah. I, think I think that's, that's why yeah, they that's give that's it to do him and respect him. So I think he has progressed. I mean, Lee Carsley's getting it next. He's done a great job. He's yeah, an amazing no, he job, has. a really good job. Yeah, but he'll beat Liverpool next. <laughs> but I, I generally you, think you, you worry about your own shit, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think you, you've got to look at it as a... For me, for Eddie Howe, going back to the guy that I mentioned, I just think that he's a grounded guy. Yeah. And we've, we've talked about all this all the way through, about you know, like the Fergies and the kind of Daglishes and all coming from this, and the Shanklers and all that coming from this. So I think he's got that, yeah. where... Football nowadays is not reality. Let's be honest. At yeah. top end, it's not reality. It's absolute. It's not reality, here, most weeks. <laughs> no, it's not. But I think with someone like him, that he's grounded and he started off his manager career down there, and he's toughed it out, and he's got where he needs to get, and then he got Newcastle job. And I think he's got so much to offer into football. And what yeah, to go yeah. There's a lot more left. Yeah, there he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In his story, I think. Yeah, 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 I, think so. I, I, I think he needs to get away from Newcastle. I don't think he's the right manager for them. Yeah. But he went there though before the money yeah, came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the thing. He, he went there before the money. So he's, yeah. season in particular. Well, he went to Burnley, didn't he? It didn't work out for him. Yeah, yeah. And no, then he went back, and then he came back been. again. But I just think his, his experiences in football, I think, are key to him going forward. To and take a team from where he's took them to the Premier League, that yeah. in itself is incredible. Yeah. Do you know what? There's lots of links there with. 
being a model person and yeah. doing the right things. He talks about Shankly, he talks about Fergie, he talks about, you know, Jock Steen, all those those managers who have been successful. Yeah. And there's a common theme running through that. We yeah. just have your moral thread there, do the right yeah, thing, do the right people things. the right work yeah. hard, do the right yeah. things. Yeah. I'm a big big that, fan of it. And that, yeah. that I would like to say is what, what we're shaping our club into. Yeah. Doing absolutely. doing the right things from top to bottom. Yeah. All, all pulling the same direction. And being honest, working hard, we all give 100% and yeah. the, the, the lads on the pitch and everyone who's involved, you can't ask for any more than that. that. Brilliant that you've got that in. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> See, Segway <laughs> into it. Dovetail into it, Tom. Why don't you ruffle his hair <laughs> while you're there? <laughs> all right, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then. Yours. So, obviously, you guys got 20 years on me, so... Um, oh, oh, he's rolled a set today. Two generations on. Are you just yeah. aiming at Tony? <laughs> hey, Bev, <laughs> come down here and give it a slap. <laughs> No, for obviously for me growing up watching football, Zidane for me was outstanding. Mm. I used to love watching Zidane yeah. play because he like he wasn't necessarily player. the star player, was he? But he was outstanding. Whenever he played, his touch on the football was yeah. unbelievable. And then to go into management in the in this era of football yeah. and win three win European one, cups on the on bounce, the bounce like yeah. okay, he was. In, Real Madrid, fair enough, but that's not an easy thing to do. do no one else has done it's it yet. Pressure on him there. Yeah, so, so for me, I'd probably go. Obviously, I mean, he's not in management now. I don't know why. Maybe he's had enough. But you know, you talk about kind of potential. If if Ten Hag was to leave United or the Liverpool, talked about just, with the United. I don't think he'll have much choice. He's not going there. He's not going there. But why aren't Liverpool looking at someone like him? Because for me, he's achieved everything as a player. He's achieved everything as a manager. You can't have him. You can't have him. He's not fair. No, he won't go there. Oh, no. He said, no, he'll do it. No, he, 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 he rang Andy and he told him, I will not go there. We're both in turn, you can get an arm transfer. Je pas United. He said he wouldn't manage in the Premier League. So yeah. not just United, just yeah. manage in the Premier League. Right, I get it. But yeah, as a player, for me, I was always just like, loved, loved watching him. And he was always composed on the ball mm. and stuff. And then to go into. He literally went straight into the highest level of management, yeah. didn't he? Because he took kind of their B team and then that was it, he was in. And to do that in three years is just yeah. outstanding. Yeah. And then to be like, I've done it, see you later, I'm off. Yeah, Fair he's not, play. He's not done anything since. Like you say, can you top that? You know. yeah. Does he need to do anything? Yeah. He's kind well, of he achieved it, hasn't he? Does he, whether he wants to, more yeah. than yeah. So. Go on. Good. Any more for any more? So, um, let's have a look. Okay, here's one for you. Walkout music. I know it's a controversial topic. <laughs> Honestly, right, I swear. But I no, couldn't not, you could not that. bring this one up. Um, question is, can we change our walkout music? I, I'm just, we put it out there, I'm offended. <laughs> right. So I think we need to explain the backstory. The backstory. the backstory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's not because our chairman is an Evertonian, although he was obviously quite keen to let it happen. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was to do with Dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, who we named the bar after and how fitting here we are an Evertonian yeah. and we played it you know after he sadly passed away at the start of the game and we said right well we'll just kind of stick with it because I think you need to stick with definitely you, know, yeah. uh, you need walkout music and, yeah. and that, that kind of that's where it originated from but and as we a little bit to that I know it does all your heads in, so it makes it, even more, it, makes it absolutely you priceless an every week. Every week, yes, all yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still playing that song, I hate it, man. I'm sick of it. But I love, I think it generally gives me a little smile, and I know that it made Dom smile, so that, that gives me a bit, there, bit of a satisfaction. But, but that said, but me I being an open and lovely chairman, I'm more than happy. What? Who's that one? <laughs> yeah, who, I, I, I'm more than happy for people to put their opinions in, but I, it will be Viola Beach. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm more than Thank you for that choice, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yeah. No, but it's, Viola Beach has obviously got a big. Oh, it's the, game, football, it's, it's the song that we played at Wembley, at Wembley, Wembley yeah. and it's something that's obviously got a big attachment to our town. So yeah, it, it, that, that again is it links it back to the club. So I'll go as far as to say is that we could play. Z cars at some point in the build up to the game. Play, uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Once he's gone, mate, he's gone. No, 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 he's gone. No, Trust no, right. me. And then we can play by other beat Frank needs to sort this playlist out anyway. It's all down to Frank. <laughs> yeah. He's in charge. Yeah, I'll get you and we've just named the podcast Where the Fuck Is Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Might need to revisit that. Z cars the rest of the season. We might have to change that one. Yeah, yeah I, th I think, I think, I think by all the beach it means something to the club. 
It's not. Um, it's not a definite. I'm happy to do a vote on it. But, <laughs> but, but I will dig it. We <laughs> could, <laughs> look, look, we could put it out there. I think Mark we had some lie. suggestions firing into the WhatsApp group last night, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we, we, we there. Well, last most of them from you two. <laughs> last night, I bought a Chelsea dagger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was quality. So, um, and I think we got. Did we get one off? Um, who did she one off? One off Eve, uh, one off Eve, Pi, yeah, one of our yeah, local that, supporters. That was, that was a great that, question. That wasn't in my head. That was out, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Eve was going, let me on there because I want to put a song suggestion in. <laughs> and then so I went, all right, I'll add it to the group. So, but be careful, like, it, there's a lot of people on there that say some really random stuff. So, yeah, yeah, Sam. She goes on it. First thing she puts on, Mark Pi out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? All oh, the lights kept clicking yeah, up. Yeah, clicking lights, <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> man. Yes. Yeah, I don't mind that. I can take it all day. <laughs> well, um, to be fair, I, all I read was your message saying Eve's just moved out, and yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, what's going on there?" Yeah, just moved out. Was it <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, yeah, I'm open to whatever people want to do, and I think <laughs> yes, I'm alright with, right with it, but it will be well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, move on. Right, but move yeah, on. I think we've got um, a great little supporters thing going at the minute. Yeah, hey, fair fair banter. Yeah, and, uh, oh, that's, sorry, I was no, going to go back right. to. Go on. I was going to go back to. Um, asking us about managerial stuff and contracts and whatever we're doing. Um, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. It's, we're uh, not giving anything away at the moment. But yeah, it's, but uh, and he's just ringing Zidane as we speak. Uh, <laughs> just to check his availability. He's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, there has been a few questions about it, but um, we, we, we'll, we'll let you know in good time, Yeah, is the short answer. And it's uh, awards night. Next week. Awards night. Oh, yes. Awards night coming up. Yeah, we've got um, the grand in town. Presentation. Uh, yeah, for the yeah, first exciting. team, for staff, sponsors, and, and whatever else. So, so uh, we look, we're really looking forward to it. And yeah, it'll be great. Time. And again, thanks for everyone's back. suggestions for player of the season. Yes. So the votes yeah. are in. Votes close. Are in. We know yeah, who's won. We I know who's won. Very close. Yeah, very close. So Sean's going to be made up. He gets his award. In fact, speak, speaking of our supporters and sponsors, um, uh, we, we touched on it earlier on, but I just need to give a mention to Big Los Barrow's oh. dog, oh. Um, Louis, oh. who, who we're oh. looking oh. after oh. at the moment. Um, Your dog sitting. Do, we're dog sitting. Ra- Rachel's uh, Rachel's looking after Big Louis. And um, I got home last night. All wrong, like yeah, that. <laughs> got home last night and there was a bell on the floor by the uh, by the back. Bell. Door. It's and probably like, upper class. This is. And it? I was like, I was like, why is there a bell on the floor? And she was like, oh, you see in a minute. So I sat there. Next thing, Louis goes up to the back door. Uh, clearly wanted to go out. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> rings the bell. Goes out for a week. Comes back in again. <laughs> Love that. So Ooh, lots, is I am just like in that awe of your dog chain. The dog's ringing the bell when he wants to go out for a yeah, week. Yeah, that's yeah. class. Lozzie's dog is a Tory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's just told me now, he's making an omelette in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that's class. Brilliant. That is class. No, but yeah, so again, another couple of very interesting and exciting weeks coming up for yeah. the yeah. Yes. And, and We've got three, four games left. Four games. When, when, do we go every two weeks on this? We go whenever you want, Mr Chairman. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, where will we be at next time then? So what would have happened? We'll have two games. So we'll have two, two games give, left. Give us a couple of predictions. A couple of predictions going into the next two weeks. Guys, this time tomorrow. Next, so we'll have two games left. I think we'll win tomorrow. Okay, brave. Okay. So we've got I guys we'll in Lancaster. Lancaster. Yeah. Yeah, so you send six points. I say for the six, next six two. points for the next two. Okay. I'm going to say four from the next two. Um, either way round, yeah, either either way round yeah, uh, uh, you know, could, it could mm. go either way round. So, but four, four from the next two, and by the next time we speak to everyone, we will be in the playoffs. In the playoffs. Is what I'm saying. Fingers okay. crossed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic season, even either. Not bothered. Yeah. yeah. So, Come on, what's your yeah. predictions? I'd, I'd probably go with Andy. I'd set four. I'd set four. Um, I don't often agree with him, but yeah. <laughs> set four. But yeah, and, and again, no matter where this thing goes but um, what a great season we've had yeah, yeah. and um, it's it's been like properly enjoyable this year yeah it's it? been really enjoyable this is why you do it it's yeah. what it's all about it's, it's why you do it it's been different classes it's just been and I think we've knitted together really well as a board but I also think as a club it sort of galvanised us and made it sort of, and that's what I think a, a guy a marine guy commented on something today saying like you just keep going even like you've had the, the sort of obstacles off like with Cleggy leaving and Adama going but we still just kept rolling. Yeah. And just kept going and kept going and kept going. And I think that's a massive testament to Sam, Dino, and oh, the guys, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. off the pitch as well, because he could have yeah. thrown, like, the wheels could have fell off at yeah. any point. Definitely. So we, we've, got, we've got two home games left. 
got Lancaster on the 13th, Ilkeston on the 27th. What I will say to everyone, get down here. Yeah, get down. Come and enjoy it. Bring the bring the family. Bring, bring and the, the away kids, games. We're the, putting travel on. Yeah, just yeah. get down along. because this is makes this a difference. Is, this is a time to really enjoy and embrace it and get. And once you've been and seen the game and seen the atmosphere, you will get the book for it. So join know. the party. Join the party. Oh, some news on a uh, pre-season friendlies as well. Isn't not not confirmed dates, but we're looking at uh, doing some good stuff over pre-season yeah. as well. Yeah, so we'll, uh, keep uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep, keep you out for that. We'll talk yeah. about that hopefully at the next one. Yeah, amazing. Okay, thank, well, you, thank you very much, Brilliant. guys. Thanks Brilliant. again for tuning in, everyone. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers, lads. Cheers.